Dzień dobry, bardzo mi miło, że przyjął Pan zaproszenie do tego nietypowego, zdalnego wywiadu. Na początku chciałbym prosić Pana o powiedzenie dwóch zdań o sobie dla naszych widzów. Hello, my name is Giovanni Nigre. I'm the general manager of the Fuse Wines. Fuse Wines is a the family company started with my grandfather 60 years ago and um, I'm continue this project. Zacznijmy od aktualnego tematu, który dotyczy każdego kraju na świecie, a mianowicie rok 2020 e, i również obecny 2021 to lata pandemii, wielu obostrzeń, utrudnień gospodarczych. E, proszę powiedzieć, jak pandemia COVID-19 wpłynęła na to, co dzieje się u Państwa na winnicy i w winiarni? Right, so um, uh, the, the fact that uh, the pandemic COVID has made in our company uh, we can uh, we can uh, the range we can organize uh, or in two ways first on the sales the sales what's happened in a few markets uh, like such a uh, United States or Belgium uh, we have grow a lot on those markets but on the other way uh, in Poland or in Germany we have decrease at our sales it's not because the country is just because the type and the profile of our clients uh, clients that uh, we have and they sell to the off-trade market they sell to the supermarket directed um, the, those clients increase a lot our sales on the other hand clients who sell to the super to sell to the restaurants or to the on uh, on trade market they are uh, affected because the all the during the pandemic the those clients the restaurants they are closed for a few months so the com the consumption of those clients decrease so clients with supermarket sales on the supermarket increase a lot and uh, clients with the uh, on trade and restaurants markets decrease a lot right, right. on the other way um, the pandemic <coughs> sorry uh, the pandemic affect our organization uh, a company such like our company who, who needs that, that the employees be present on the production uh, pr process sometimes they uh, be, because the the lockdown we have to reduce uh, the people present on our winery so uh, we have get less efficiency and uh, we get some some problems we get uh, some uh, efficiency problems on the production because uh, we we have not been with the organization full and complete in our company we have to to uh, to 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 make some uh, shifts uh, during the morning uh, or, or during some days some employees and on the other day is the other employees so we have get uh, we have lost some efficiency during the pandemic lockdown Rok 2020 pod względem zbiorów i produkcji wina był bardzo dobry dla regionu Teżu. Z tego co wiem jesteście Państwo w trakcie zbiorów, więc proszę powiedzieć jakie będą tegoroczne wina od Fiozy. The, the harvest on 2020, uh, it was harvest though uh, the most important is to get the, uh, the grapes inside. We have not stopped it, we have not wait for the best alcohol degrees because the pandemic it was uh, our main goal is was to start the harvest and not stop because the pandemic and it was to our uh, our goal is <clears throat> to put all the grapes inside of the in, in the winery 2000 uh, 2001 uh, 21 <clears throat> we are 
much more careful with the grapes and the quality of, of the grapes. We have to stop and start the harvest uh, based on the maturation and based on the, the quality of the, of the wine. So uh, <clears throat> a 21, the our goal is completely different of the harvest of the 20. The 21 was most focused on the quality and, uh, and the quantity. By the way, again, um, the, the harvest of 21, we hope that it, that it, it will be a, a good year because uh, we have uh, good weather uh, uh, during, the, during the, 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 the process of the maturation. We don't get such rain. It was a good year, a dry year. And um, we have not get also uh, got uh, high, very high temperature. The high temperature don't help the quality of the grapes. And uh, 21 was a medium, where I can tell a medium, uh, not very high temperature uh, um, weather. Jak w kilku zdaniach scharakteryzowałby pan wina z Portugalii i czym różnią się one od win z innych krajów? Portugal, in Portugal, we are a small country, but we have plenty of grapes. And one of the most interesting things of the, of the Portugal wines is, uh, is the typical and uh, a terroir of Portugal. We are, our company, we are based on the part of international grapes, but the most important for the export market are, are the Portuguese typical grapes. We don't have, uh, um, in Portugal we have um, uh, grapes such like Toriga Nacional or uh, Arinto is a white or uh, even uh, a more red Delicant Boucher a grapes very typical, very different from the international grapes. This, uh, I suppose, for me, this is one of the big difference between Portuguese wines and wines from the rest of the world. Komisja Winiarska Teżu otrzymała nagrodę dla najlepszej portugalskiej komisji w roku 2020. Proszę powiedzieć, jak Wam się współpracuje i jak ta współpraca między komisją a właśnie producentem wina przekłada się na państwa biznes. Right, the, the, the one commission, uh, Tej one commission, uh, for me is one of the best uh, one commission in, in Portugal. Uh, why? Because I've, I've been working in, in one commission for 15 years, that's why, this is the first main reason. But, uh, um, no, not joking, um, uh, the role of the wine commission is to help the, the producers to sell the wines to the export market and also to the internal market. If, if a wine commission is very bureaucratic, uh, that means that complicate and, and get hard the sales process. And, um, I I know this one commission has an, th understood already his role and uh, what he's done the last uh, last years is helping to promote uh, the grapes and the wine from from this region. So in my opinion, the the, the one commission is on the right way, and uh, and he helps. And the producer to sell wines and to promote our brands uh, abroad and also on uh, the internal market. <coughs> Polski rynek w pierwszym półroczu 2021 ponownie stał się trzecim największym odbiorcą win z regionu Teżu. Czy wie pan jak wasze wina odbierane są przez polskich konsumentów i które upodobali sobie najbardziej? The first, uh, the first um, six months of two, of uh, twenty one uh, for the for us regarding the Polish market was the difficult uh, six months 
because our clients, like I told you before, our clients uh, in Poland are based in the, the Eureka market, on the restaurant market. And uh, this uh, market was the most affected because the the COVID and the, the pandemic. So for us, uh, the first uh, six months wasn't the best, but uh, I feel better, better days. And I notice in July and uh, in August, uh, the orders are coming, N not in the high quantities, but better than the, the, the first six months of the year. So I hope in the future, the, um, uh, the, next, the, the next part of the year, the, the Polish market react better than the first, uh, the first six months. I na koniec luźniejsze pytanie, bardziej osobiste. Jakie wino pije pan najchętniej, za kim pan przepada, co pan lubi w winie? I jeśli miałby pan wybrać jedno wino i je polecić, to jakie byłoby to wino? Right, good question. Um, what is the best wine for me? Uh, when I choose a wine, I have in mind always what period of the year I am. If I am on the winter, I prefer to drink red wine. If I'm on, on the summer, of course I like white wines, right? Um, uh, why? Because the red wines get more uh, a, a feeling of uh, good temperature and warm our body. And uh, with the white wines, the fresh white wines bring freshness to our body. So. But um, the, uh, um, another another thing I, is important to me when I choose a wine is the food that I'm drinking. Always drink wines with friends because the friends uh, uh, wine needs to drink needs to be drink with with friends because is the is the social part that that is very important. But uh, um, regarding uh, the best wine to the food, we, we need to, to combine to, we need to combine wine with food. Means that when we have a spicy food, we drink have a, a, a strong wine that can eat the spicy the part of the spicy the food. And um, if we if we eat a, a, a grilled fish. The, I don't recommend to drink uh, heavy wine. Needs to be a, a white wine, more light, and uh, needs to combine very, very uh, needs to combine well with a, in our amount uh, uh, with the fish. So depends the moment, depends the food, depends the the, the temperature, and uh, but I drink red wine, rosé. I drink all the wines. Uh, usually I drink wines every day. I start with white and uh, after that I change for for red or I I continue with the white if I'm out on the summer on the on the winter like I've said uh, before uh, I prefer more uh, more red wines thank you to już wszystkie pytania, jakie chciałem zadać. Bardzo dziękuję za tą możliwość przeprowadzenia tego wywiadu. Życzę wielu sukcesów i powodzenia panu i oczywiście całej firmie. So Damian, thank you very much for the, the moments that you have passed with me and thank you also to Spuvin to, uh, to receive and, uh, and to give me the opportunity to do this interview. Thank you very much Damian. Bye.